Hey, welcome to a new video on the Get Grow channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to build inner links for the blog of the Squirrely Company. So I have this blog right here, squirrely.co slash news. This is our blog. And we have a brand new strategy that's powered by Next Level uh, Marketing AI by Squirrely. So because of that strategy, I actually want to build more web authority to this particular page on our site, which is the blog page, because it's going to get a lot more content. And with this lot more content that we have right here, we're going to rank higher and higher. And the idea is that uh, in order to help Next Level gain more SEO traffic for us, I could be going to build inner links. So in order to build inner links, you can see I have some inner links that were already generated by Squirrely SEO here. But I can actually go and click on suggested inner links so that I can start building more inner links right now. Yeah. So let's go and click it. So we found the following matches and let's see. So this are with best SEO. This was a test that I've done, but now we have blog. So it is that everywhere where we have blog, I want to make sure that we're going to place links to the actual blog. So that Google knows which is the actual link of the official blog of the Squirly company. Because we have many different blogs for many different products. As you know, Squirly sells over 10 products on the market right now. And lot, lots of them have actually got their own blogs. So which is the blog of the Squirly company? And for that, we're going to build in our links. And Google is going to figure that out. And it's also going to boost the web authority for that particular page, uh, which is the blog. So in order to do that, Let's go around and start playing with add, link found, add, let's see, add, and you can see where it found it and what it's going to direct to. So let's go. All right, so let's see uh, in this one, it says link found. Now, if I click on link found, it's going to take me to the page. So let's look at the page. Text based. OK, so you have certain rules. Even if I had blog here, because of the rules that I set in Squirrely SEO, it wouldn't try to uh, hijack my other links in the site. So where is it? Okay, so this is a pretty big resource. Now let's try this again. Right, so here it is. So you can see it right here, I guess it, yeah. So I've checked and you can see it on my screen. And you have blog. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess the problem is with the thing that it doesn't really highlight it. But you now have a link here. No, it's actually highlighted. So you can see the actual color. I was afraid it didn't place the right color and I was going to check it out. But no, it's, it's placing the right color from the website. So I have the blog right there. So right now, this is one inner link that I've built just by clicking a button. I didn't have to go and search for this page myself. I just basically went and told Squirly SEO, hey, this is my blog. Find all the relevant places where I can place links and you know, tell Google and other people that this is our blog. So whenever they have the word blog, they now link it. You know, kind of like Wikipedia does it and Stack Overflow. So those are the kinds of sites that Google loves the most because they have tons of inner links. And now you can build your own inner links too. Of course, our strategy uh, is a lot more advanced that we use on other sites, but I don't want to get into it, you know, because of all the other stuff that's been, that have been going on. So whenever we released one of our studies, our dear competitors tried to do all sorts of weird SEO things against us. So we're not talking strategy on this video. I just shown you. I've just shown you how to build 
an inner link. So this is how easy you can actually build inner links of your own with a great and amazing SEO value. This was just an example to show you that it can be done and that it's easily done. And there's really not much you have to do. So in my case, in order to get my page, which is the Squirly blog, uh, to get all of these exciting things found for it, I just had to go to focus pages. And then in focus pages, I've added news. And after this, I did an audit. And then I went to inner links and I found the suggested inner links button. So it takes a while to load and it will only load in the case when Squirrely SEO has actually found inner links that it can suggest to you. So now that they are suggested, I can click. We found the following matches and now I can see all the matches that it's found for me. So I can go and I can click on everything that makes sense, right? Right, so now I said that I'm not going to show some very advanced stuff, so the others I'm not going to show them. So there you have it. This is how you build inner links automatically using the suggested inner links function. And for other settings on inner links, you can go to the menu and hit the inner links button. It says new. So that's how you can start working on your inner links. And you can use the settings. So use the inner link assistant, um, maximum and all sorts of stuff that you can find in our how to that will redirect that will get all the rules done for when you're automatically placing your inner link, what specific rules does it have to follow and you can define those rules here. So thanks very much for watching this video and I hope that you are now confident you're going to build some amazing internal links in your site using Squirrely SEO. Thank you very much for watching.